Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you guys how to detect server boost in the Discord server. So Discord.js doesn't provide you with a server boost event, so I thought of making this video. Let's get right into it. So for this, instead of using uh, the server boost event, which doesn't exist, we're going to use the guild member e update event. Um, if you don't have an event handler, you can click on the card on the top right of the screen. I highly recommend you to get that. So once you have your event handler, just go to your events folder. And then let's just create a folder called um, boostdetection.js. Okay, let me just close this up. All right. So as usual, we're going to require client from index.js. So const client equals require uh, dot, dot slash in index.js. All right. So client.on. And then here, uh, we're going to have the guild member update event. So it is guild member update. All right. And then it will give us two parameters, which is the old member and the new member. So I'll explain it later on. So old member and then new. Make sure there is no space. Old member and new member. All right, so if you want to talk about update, there's obviously a older version of the member and the newer version of the member. So this is where the update comes in. So this is the old state of the member, or this, and then this is the new state of the member. All right, so um, basically, if you want to check if the person is currently boosting, um, this is not the video for it. This is what this event is going to be triggered whenever someone boosts the server. And when someone unboosts the server, means like the boost ends or something like that. All right, so uh, we can do this by two ways. Um, I think the easier way is by checking premium sins. So let me just, let's just get right into it. So we can just do const old, old status. All right, we can do old status equals to old member dot premium. Premium sins. Okay, this returns a date. So if uh, the person isn't boosting, it's going to return null. Okay, which is perfect. All right, so for the next declaration, we're going to declare a new status. Status equals new member. Member dot premium since. All right, perfect. So basically, um, there are just going to be two if statements. So it's going to be if. Um, if old status, status, okay, if there is, uh, if the person isn't currently boosting and it's, he is currently boosting, uh, we're going to send like something like, let me just see, we can do client dot channels dot catch dot get. And you can get the channel ID. So let me just quickly grab the ID. And then uh, we can just do something like kind of channel to cost again. And then dot send. All right. In here, we can just do something like new member dot user dot tag has boosted the server. So this is inside these two brackets or curly brackets, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is this code is going to be executed when somebody boosted the server, a new person boosted the server. So now let's move on into if someone unboosted the server. So let's say the boost ends. So basically, um, the old status is going to be true and the new status is going to be false. So we can do that by doing if old if old status and then and Oops, and no new status. All right, and then here we can just do client channels catch get, and then the same ID. We can just pass in the same ID and then dot send, and then we can do new member dot user dot tag, and then um has unboosted the server. So once again, this line of code will execute when somebody boosts the server and this line of code will be executed when someone unboosts 
unboost the server or transfer the boost to another server. Alright, so now I'm on Discord. I'm currently boosting two servers, Recon Dev and Discord JS. So for this video, I'll be transferring the boost from Discord JS. So yeah, let me just show you how it works. So let me just try and transfer the boost. And then I'll select U Tutorials. Now do transfer boost. All right, so after I boost the server, as you can see here, uh, the bot sent recon 8448 has boosted the server. So this code was inside of here. As you can see here, uh, here's my tag and it has boosted the server. The same thing is going to happen if someone unboosted the server, it's going to uh, send this message over here. Of course, you can do something like you can add a role, you can uh, like send a DM, you can send a DM by doing this a member. Oops, my bad. My a new status. Actually, new member. Not send, and you can just send your message like thanks for boosting the server or something like that. But unfortunately, I don't have any boost to transfer. So yeah, that should conclude today's video on the boost detection system. Um, you should see a place that you can click on if you want to watch more Discord just tutorials. Alright, have a nice day. See you in the next video. Bye.